You guys are probably wondering why we're in the baby aisle. Well, Kevin's about to be a dad. <laughs> Man, just wear glove, guys. <laughs> right here. Where is it at? All right, so for Kevin's kid, we're gonna get the Johnson and Johnson's baby shampoo. That one. Yeah. Damn, dude, we get it. You're getting a kid, but you have to have a new car too. Yeah, man, more room. Gotta stop with the life. You know? Guys, if you guys want to buy the Civic, hit him up. Slide yeah. through the DMs right yeah. now. Hey, maybe uh, I'll stand this one. <laughs> you chill. The kid needs all the money he can get. <laughs> <laughs> We're back at the shop, guys, and no, Kevin does not actually have a kid. And no, Christine is not pregnant. That little thing can't get her pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, though. What? Let me show you guys why we need the Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo. Take a look at the S13. It looks pretty complete for the most part, but what is it missing? I've been reading your guys' comments, and a lot of you guys have been saying that the S13 is almost complete, but it's missing tints. Huge shout out to Kevin. Kevin was working on his car the other day and I saw he was installing tints. So, you know, I figured I might as well do it too. But to help you guys out, there's this company that sells pre-cut tints specifically for your car. I went online, ordered off eBay, and it showed up within two days. Okay, let me actually take it out and show you guys. <clears throat> Oh, the company is called Northern Tint. They, they go by Northern Tint on eBay, so. Here we go. Instructions right here. Invoice right here. I only spent $33.97. These are already pre-cut, as you can see here. These are for the two doors, the rear glass panels, and the rear windshield. Double-checked everything. Everything is okay. The shade of tint that I went with, for the fronts I went with 35%, and the rest I went with 20%. A lot of you guys don't know this, but the percentage is how much sunlight can go through. So, the higher the percentage, the lighter it is. I used to have 5% and you can't see anything at night. So honestly, I prefer to have a much higher percentage in the fronts. So 35 should be good. The homies and I are gonna go grab some tacos real quick before we get started. It's finally getting cold in San Jose and we can start wearing sweaters again. What do you guys think of the new merch? Let me know down in the comments below. Damn, I should change this one. Good time, fat ass. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> if you guys like our new drop, head to the website and cop them before they're gone. Actually, they're almost gone, yeah. Almost gone? Yeah. Also, I wanted to address one more thing. I know you guys are looking at the boxes right here and you guys see the Gildan box. We don't use any Gildan products. These are just extra boxes lying around at the shop that they throw our merch into to bring to us. The quality of your shirt mm -hmm. and your stuff? Mm -hmm. Nine. Nine out of ten. <laughs> if you guys have ever bought anything from us at all, go down in the comments and let the others know how they feel. Let's go grab some tacos. Cafe Paradise. All the OG Vietnamese dad <laughs> know what that place is. They do know what that place is. Oh, that looks so fire. No meals complete without the harito. Chop the baby. Holy shit, Tony. Hey, you deserve it. He's been taking care of all of the orders for you guys. And spicy. ¿Qué pasó, vato? Hey, oh, hey, hey, ¿Qué pasó, perro? ¿Qué onda, güey? Hey, ven aquí. Ven aquí. Hola, perro. Hola, perro. Oh. A little taco back or what? Hell no, I had a little taco. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, guys, we are back. You're stupid. You got a pink taco, bitch. Let's get started. Luna. Allá. Hey. I, oh. You think you could sniff my culo? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! 
because I'm speaking Spanish. You forgot I'm Asian, huh? You better wash your fuck out. I'm about to eat your ass. So you guys are probably wondering why we're getting Johnson and Johnsons. It's because when you mix this with the water, so there's no detergents. Uh, I actually don't really know why. Okay, so there's something in the Johnson and Johnson soap that works really well. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. But all I know is that we have to use that soap. Maybe it has something to do with streaks and not having any detergent in there's the formula. A, there's a lot of whole bunch of other slip solutions that they would recommend you to use. But <laughs> online, it does, it does mention that you can use this soap. Any tint guy I've ever gone to uses this. Yeah. So. One last look, guys. No tints, as you guys can see. Let's get to it. To make everything easier, I'm just gonna take off the door panel. Okay, next step is to grab a fresh new razor blade and go through and make sure you clean off anything. Check this out. There we go. Just make sure to remove anything that can show up when you put the tin over. This next part is the hardest part out of the whole thing. You gotta be very careful. Very careful. And then add water. You're good to go. Okay. Oh, oh, oh shit. I sat down way too hard. I didn't realize it was that low. Okay. Got my soap and water. Let's clean this off. Just to get any residue or anything off. Ooh, that smells so good. Be careful when peeling this off. Kevin messed up. Okay. Get this thing nice and wet. So, oh yeah, baby, you like it like that? Yeah, I love it when you're wet. Woo, baby. <laughs> Isaac's just looking at him and laughing. He was telling me the same thing last night. <laughs> Wait, never mind. <laughs> I said it wrong. I didn't know you were supposed to eat the tin. Stupid. Guys, right, you want something to chew on though? You're gonna give it to you right now. Stupid ass. So you didn't say no. I'm gonna get you right now. Damn, is that 5%? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, guys, the video's over, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, I didn't expect it to be that easy. Dude, it's like wrapping, this is, this is cool. Look at that. Ooh. So it's like wrap, when you push it, it activates the adhesive when it touches, right? Yeah. And the water in the middle is what just like lubricates it and lets you slide it around. Sick. Dude, this is so easy. Oh. All right, next step, look, check this out. If any is sticking off, literally just grab this. That's it. Ooh, fire. Yep. <laughs> I fucked up. Well, it's actually not that bad, but. You want me to call my guy? <laughs> no. <laughs> How about I call my guy? <laughs> Who's your guy? Brenda! <laughs> there we go, one side is done. And don't mind my side skirt, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> Look, here's a little tip. If the tint isn't coming off easily, get two pieces of tape, put it on, pull it apart slowly, and that's how you get it off. Sick, right? Okay, I got both sides done. That side didn't go as well as this side. But it's okay. Now for the really hard parts. I have to do these windows, and I have the cages in the way. <sighs> Wish me luck, guys. This is gonna suck. And this one's not gonna be any fun either. I try to climb from under here, doesn't work. Looks like the only way I can get to the back is through <laughs> right here. I'm too lazy to take out the seats. Oh, I got it. Oh! We did it. Fuck. Tony! Can you help me grab my camera? What the fuck are you doing there? Thank you. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, I'll see you later. You guys are all at home? I'm the only one here now? Fuck! Fuck it, I'm not alone, I'm with you guys.
Well, technically, I'm alone until I upload this video. <laughs> oh, okay, got it. Okay. Okay, everything is done. Now this is the last piece, and I am not looking forward to this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to mess up somewhere. I know that the defroster plugs are right here. So we might have to do some cutting, but I guess if I mess up, I mess up. So for this piece, you're supposed to heat shrink it. You lay the piece on, you heat it so it forms to this shape, and then you put it on. I'm not sure exactly how that's gonna work, but you know what, I got the heat gun. Let's try it out. I've been in there for like over 30 minutes and this is like the best I can do. I'm like so over it. I just want to pull it out and just like give up. I should get some professional help to be honest. This part is the hardest part. This is why people pay for tint jobs, guys. I honestly thought I can do this and make a video for you guys, but it's so hard. Difficulty level 10. I have one idea left. Maybe we can save this, but if not, I'm just gonna have someone come and attempt it and do it themselves. There's no way in hell I'm doing this. You know what? I'm gonna try to see if I can save this. Fuck it, send it. <laughs> I wasted money. Taking the tin out and putting it outside was such a great idea. Look at this, everything went. This wrap. I'm gonna go get someone professional to do this because I'd have to say that's probably one of the most annoying things I've ever done. And having the cage in the way definitely didn't help and I don't even know if I heat shrunk it correctly. <sighs> what a waste of time. On the bright side, at least I got everything else. I'm just gonna take it to a professional shop, have them do this. <sighs> it sucks. Good times, low cars, my ass. I should really take this shirt off. Props to all the tint dudes out there freaking killing it and doing amazing jobs. Well, that's a wrap for today's video, guys. If you guys wanna cop any of these new tees, head to the website before they're gone. And if you guys enjoyed the video, once again, go down, help us out, hit the subscribe button. We're almost at 600K. I'll see you guys later.